Welcome to the ET197 How to Do More and See More Software Setup for our ARC PLC Trainer. Here I have the Do More Designer software and I'm going to show you how to connect to our live ARC PLC and uh, transfer the program. So first thing we're going to do is go to File. We're going to New Project. And we're going to go online. Okay. And right here we have disabled. So we've got, a, we've got an issue here. So let's go to find my PLC. USB. Next. And here I have my PLC. Uh, assuming that we've already got the USB connected. This is my CPU and this is its address okay so we're gonna go next and I'm just gonna call it a and finish and we have it here it says it's enabled so let's connect good so we're gonna set our time and everything and there's a some functions here that's okay what we're interested in here is going over here to configure okay so in order to talk to our OIT we have to be in the do more protocol and we're going to change our settings and it should be 38 400 baud rate if not it will not communicate just leave everything else the same. Should be 8, 1, none. Unconditional follow transmitter. Okay. So that's good. So let's go to IO configuration. And this is our layout. And we could change this to 6. But here's our base. So we have our power supply, our CPU, one input module, our second input module. An output module, uh, high speed for motors, and our A to D and D to A converter. Okay, so let's go here and we're going to auto configure. And here's our base, and we're going to convert this to six. This doesn't matter, this is just showing how it is. So if I want to know what this guy is, I could go ahead and look on internal and see what's going on. We're not going to be using our Ethernet. Uh, we'll do this later. This we're going to leave alone. And this shows us our mapping of each one. So we have 16 inputs on one card, 16 on the other, and there it says we have 16 possible on our outputs. We only have 12 because that's all our uh, card has and this is our memory we're not going to worry about that good all right that's uh, pretty much it so let's go to our Seymour here's our Seymour software which we have a panel already made so let's go ahead and make sure that we're going to communicate pro properly so let's go to panel and panel information and that's okay because and I think com one let's see and that's okay so let's close let's just see if we could send it and see if we're on the right com port first thing no I think it should be com six good so now we're at least on the right com port and we could transfer it to the the screen Good. So let's go to Setup, Panel Manager, and we should have our EA1T6CL, and we're going to go here to our COM port, and we should have 38.4, and all these should stay the same, and this is the default for this screen. So we just need to make sure that both our PLC and this one are set for 38400 in order for them to communicate. Good.